now heading off, um, hopefully, to France today. We're heading down the M1 for the ferry and look at the traffic. Oh my word. Oh. Dover's within our sights. Still don't know whether we're going to make it or not though. It's stressful, it's slow, isn't it? Oh, it's flipping same. Oh, so we're, what are we now? 10 minutes after checking close. Oh, then go. Go, go. Right, this is it. Keep everything crossed for us. Cross it. Good morning. Good morning. So where are we going? This is slow. Well, where have we just been? Where have we just been? To explain my voice, we've just had two weekends at two festivals and we're absolutely shattered. We're getting too old for this. So we're now heading off, um, hopefully, to France today. We're heading down the M1 for the ferry and look at the traffic. Oh my word. Crawling that thing. I just said, look at the traffic. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we've got to get over now. Uh, yeah. So, heading for the ferry. Will we make it? Won't we make it? Stay tuned. What do we say, Slow? Uh, let's, let's go! go. <laughs> Very slowly today. Dover's within our sights. Still don't know whether we're going to make it or not though. A bit stressful, this slow, isn't it? We do, we do, we do, we do. What will be, will be. Ah, doesn't look too bad down there. This is so stressful. <laughs> I can't tell you how stressful this is. I just had English plate. Well, maybe he's got an EU passport. Mm. Oh, see, it's not more than coffee. Merci. There we go. Merci. Merci. Au revoir. Checking clothes five minutes ago. Right, this is it. Keep everything crossed for us. They've driven straight up to that one, I know. Uh -huh. Isn't it always the same? You peak, the shortest lane. I know. And then... Always the flipping same. Oh, so we're, what are we now? 10 minutes after checking clothes. Oh, then go. Go, go. Keep it. Hi. Hi. Oh, lovely. Yes, I have love, yeah. That's one, love. That one's Billy. Next one. Yep. Can scan. Thank you. Who knows? Lovely. Thank you. Yep. Two oh nine. Perfect. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> We've done it. We've got it. Oh, oh my gosh. Woo! Stress over. Two oh nine. Let's go! Right. Whew. Get these doggies sorted. So I can have a chill now. What time we board then? Oh, we won't be long because we sail in three quarters of an hour. Right, you better go them out for a slash. I'm going. Is that a Yorkshire term? Slack. Come on, babies. Here they are, little treasures, Billy and Jesse. And they've travelled down today in their Kurgo seats and their 
Kogo harnesses. So they've been very safe while traveling. So let's get you out for a wee babies. Well, she takes dogs for the tittle. I'm just gonna put some more air in. Uh, in my suspension, rear suspension, just uh, so I don't drag my bike on ramp and ferry. <laughs> I think three and a half should do it. You get here and then you go and detect dogs. And you don't take your phone. I didn't need my phone. And he's saying when he were going. The dogs have been for a wee. Yeah. Billy went just over there. Jesse would not go because of Everybody's all in the cars. That row's gone, look. This row's gone. Our row ain't gone because I went, I don't know, mate. Have you finished? Have anywhere. you finished? Listening to me. Oi. Yeah. Right. Billy went here, Jessie wouldn't go because all the trucks were going past, she was going mental. So I had to take her right over to the exercise area to do a wee. She did one there and then we ran back. And I tell you, I've been back over a minute now and we haven't gone. Cam, chill your beans. Oh, we're going to go in and we out here and I'd tell bloke, if a woman comes back with two dogs, tell her to walk up that ramp. You are so melodramatic. <sighs> So melodramatic. We're getting on the ferry to France. Mm. <sighs> Time to put kettle on now then. Well, I just sent that row on. <laughs> well, he hasn't sent this one, has he? He looked down here and I went, if you're not here, mate, and he went, right, I'll leave you a lot for a bit. Oh, you talk twaddle. You have to get up back at boat. You talk twaddle. Last on, last off. <sighs> so anyway, Dover to Calais on p &O does have a pet friendly lounge, which you will have seen from when we went on our early summer holiday and we took the dogs in the pet friendly lounge. Jessie wasn't happy though. You saw that she did her usual splat on all floors and we had to drag her along the floor. Um, so we've decided to revert back to what she knows and what she's happy with. So when we get on board, we'll show you what we do with the dogs when we're on a short crossing. Um, because Jess is much happier with that than actually going in the very nice pet friendly lounge. And we're off. <clears throat> He's been painting, look. <laughs> The dog's settled now. Chairs turn around, blankets on chairs. This one's Jessie's. And this one's Billy's. Hi, Bill. Because why would I jump up when you lift me up, Mum? Jessie, come on. On your bed. Up. Good girl. Yep, they've got water. I'll give them some food. And Daddy will put the music on. Do some tunes on. Yeah. Stay. Good girl. With our alarm, that second beep means that it turns off the... Thank you. It turns off the um, interior sensors on the alarm. So the dogs don't set it off. Top tip we've told you before, always check your stairwell. So we're on Nigel Mansell again. Nigel Mansell because it is red. Five. Yeah, whatever, Trevor. You will be thankful of that when we start to uh, disembark, saying, I don't know where Helga is. Now, whether you can see that, I can see the dog on my camera now. Keep yapping because there's people still boarding. Okay. Obviously, when I get into out into the sea, I'm going to lose signal, so I won't be able to look. But just for now, slows with coffee. Yeah, <laughs> make a note with coffee. Not always drinking. No. Only 16 hours a day. <laughs> you won't believe this. I can't speak, Mum. No, well, you don't. You finish your food and I'll speak. Right. 
You won't believe this. We are completely naked. Completely. Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I have not got a colour coordinated holder. Get that. What are we going to do, Slow? It's nice to get naked sometimes. <laughs> isn't it? Yes. Yeah, we've not done this for a long, long time. Well, what we're going to do, we're going to look at a weather app. And I've just <clears throat> loaded up Meteo. So I thought they might be better at predicting it than um, BBC. Yeah. Or the weather, they can't predict out in England. So, Annecy, where we thought we might want to go. Thought we might go, go to Annecy. Okay, uh, Thursday, Friday, but then Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah. So I'm telling you now, we're not going to Annecy. <laughs> okay, we'll look again. Stay tuned. Uh, Grimo, which was a second choice down at South, it's always been good for us. It's not looking good either. Well, it is at the minute. Oh, it is at the minute. We're not there yet, and it'll take us a couple of days to get down there. Yeah. And by the time we get there, it uh, rains. Yeah. Uh, so we don't know what to do now. What, what should we do now? If we're sun chasing, what are we going to do? We'll come, I'll look. Germany. Oh, Italy? Oh, the molten Italy. We're only out for 10 days. <laughs> no, maybe Germany. Right. We'll have a look. We'll keep hunting, let yeah. you know. We'll be back. Are you scared? Of what? Because you don't know where you're going. I have to say I'm slightly apprehensive, yes. Because I know how much planning goes into having a good holiday. Bummy, don't you? Well, I don't know. One of our subscribers got in touch and said that um, they had spent all their holiday in France driving and didn't get to see anything because they hadn't planned for how long it was going to take them to get from here to be. And what they, do you want to see? They missed out. Well, I don't know because you won't let me plan anything. I don't know. We'll see what we see then when we see it. If we see so it. So we either bam it down to south or we just pick some small roads and we do some drive into little towns on the B roads. Do you know how big France is? Yeah, but we don't have to go to the so south. What we? area do you think we're going to? We'll go to the French quarters. Jeez. Yeah. Please stand on the information desk located on deck eight for disembarkation. Hi! Hi. Look at you, look at Right, we're waiting to uh, disembark, but I'm going to just try and set me hood to uh, KMH if I can before before we go. Press and hold, that's number 10 on mine. 8, 9, 10. KMH. Press and hold again. I think I've done that. Uh, right, we're going to change from UK to France, haven't we? Right. What do we say, Slaw? Let's go. Oh, you failed. Oh, shit. Uh, on Eva. On, on Eva. <laughs> know what time it is, don't we? Pick a ticket. Oh, yeah. This is the holiday. Any comment? No, no comments. You like it, really. For those of you who are joining us for the first time, Slaw has a little bit of a thing that he does. When I go to the payage, what do you call it, Slaw? Smacky bum bum time. Yep. I only do it for the, for the guys that have uh, asked me to. That's sounding wrong. No, no, it is sounding wrong. <laughs> then we'll leave it there. Well, we'll, we'll, and look at the lovely French countryside that we're driving yeah, through. Let's crack up. It's starting.
trying to sound like a bloody only fans page song. <laughs> we had more money. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. That's enough hard work for today. Just got a little uh, AR to clean. You gotta go down there. Oh, oh. Little things, please, little minds. Yep. Paid? Yep. How much, Joss? 2840. Oh, we've done a few miles. We have. Chemin des Dames was named in the 18th century because it was the route taken by Adelaide and Victoire, the daughters of Louis XV, who were known as Ladies of France. This road was the most direct route between Paris and the Château de Beuve, where the ladies frequently visited. Well, can't go on there. It's only three spaces and it's full. Nightmare. Start a look again for somewhere else now. I'm going to come and breathe. Quarter past seven. Right, find the nearest campsite. There's no campsite. There's a problem when we're running late like this, you can't. Yeah. We're always going to be full at this time, aren't it? Yeah. I suppose we're two, it, it, three, but worth a go. Worth a try. There's a campsite just back up the road where we've just been. Right. We'll see if we can get in there. Yeah. Go back up this road. The joys of not planning. Baguette. Um, okay. One. Okay. Do you want it? Uh, Sirloin. Um, from a chocolat. Yeah, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. One of it always happens. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We uh, une baguette, s'il vous plaît. Oui. Uh, une from a et une poisson. Okay, merci, merci. Uh, so, merci. <laughs> Shh. Okay. Si. Look at this. Don't go anywhere. Do you want to go here then? Do you want to go up there, do you? I don't mind. There are vans up there. Okay. What a place! What a slow found you. You see, you know, you want to book places, but you, you live off the seat of your pants and then you find little gems, don't you? Eh? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know whether you were listening or not when we uh, check in. She just told us where to park, but we've got croissant, pon au chocolat, and baguette ordered for demain. Oh. Tomorrow. So, sorted. Uh, what? There are children. Oh, shut up, grump. I will drink. Um, we'll be going to bed soon. I will drink San Miguel. I thought that's a good idea. I'm checking polarity. Right, hooked up. Polarity's good. Right, Mrs. Slow. You stuck that on the electric. Now that you're plugged in, yep. Tea time. Tea and beer. Who thinks? We're doing with red wine. Oh, it's for the chilli, isn't it? Obviously. You won't be having it, will you? Sour cream. <coughs> Jeepers. Why don't you? You just smash that out now. Look at that. Yeah, but I cheated. I doubled up with chilli at home. 
um, last night before we came away on holiday. Don't tell them that. <laughs> you know, you just meant that. And um, it was in the freezer. So defrosted it yesterday, knowing that um, we did want to do a bit of driving today. Um, so Slaw's just smashed off for the first three hours in France. So I knew that we'd need tea. So that's not bad. Eight o'clock, is it? Not bad. No, no. cracking. That'll do. Tell you how hungry I am. What's this? Oh, that's nice. Uh, sour cream. I need to see which, what wine this is. I didn't even didn't even read the label. I just got it out from under the bed. <clears throat> sour cream that I shouldn't be having. Well, I don't have any of it. I'll put it on now. Oh, it's a Gran Reserva, a Spanish yeah. Gran Reserva. Really? It is nice. It is lovely. And hopefully you'll be able to taste it in the chilli because I put a... Mm. Keith Floyd slugging. Oh. Now, what do you do about chilli? We've given up on red kidney beans, haven't we? Yeah. We don't have them in anymore. So I put mushrooms in instead of red kidney beans. Yeah. You guys mushrooms. do everything with a different twist. I know some people put um, chocolate in mm. or coffee in. Mm. Mm. We prefer the red wine flavour, don't we? Mm. <laughs> San Miguel, chilli and rice. Garlic bread. Oh. Jesse's found a bone under the table if you wonder what that is. Mm. Ah, good morning. Good morning. What a jolly good night's sleep we had last night. It was um, one of the darkest and quietest campsites that we have been on in a long time. Too quiet. Yeah, it was It was almost too quiet. E uh, eerily quiet. Eerily quiet, yeah. Um, if you've seen our vlogs before, you've, you've heard me talk about a road, a railway line and a dog. Because usually, on a campsite, you can hear a road, a railway line or a dog. Nothing. Right, we need to one two one do one because it's eight fifteen. Yeah, well. I'm gonna get on the road, Jack. Crack on. No, you come back. Bogs showers. Find the box there. Oh, come here. So they can't get in. Ah, should we do a pay? Did you play? Ah. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. Local produce. Thank you. Good luck. Oh, I heard the pollen. Yeah. <laughs> right. The showers are honesty showers. Because yeah. you asked when you pay whether you've had a shower and how ah. many you've had. So you, if you've had them, you pay. Yeah, can you grab that, please? So when you come here, you don't have designated pictures. She just says, well, help yourself, <laughs> basically. So you've got to try and be not on top of somebody else. If you're driving a tag, you might have fun. Although they, they don't say they don't have them. They won't run through the back of there. Camper vans, tents. Just go where you want. Right, are we getting out of here? Yeah. So one night, with electric, no showers, 16 euros. Bargain. It really is. Right. <laughs> Camera ring. Billy goes in there, Daddy. Camera ring, yeah. Come on, little sausage. Come on. Oh! What have you done? You've snapped it. I haven't touched it. You've snapped it properly. Oh, shit. Simon! I need more black tape, please. How's that happened? Because you've just done that. 
and you two pieces like that. I brought the bin. Yes, he has. Snapped it complete off. That's too long. You told me. No, I didn't. I said that long. Oh my god, I didn't know it had to be exact. Get the scissors and cut it then, please. Thank you. Yeah. And while you wait, you put Billy in his bed. There. We need a new bin. Yeah, we do. But in the meantime, is bin a blue job or a pink job? Pink job. So don't touch it again. I think I got blamed for something that... I think you led me into that. I don't think I did. You kept us safe. I think you were stomping round looking for sandals that you'd put under the bed. But we do need a new bin, that's not going to hold for much longer. Oh. I get blamed for everything in this house. Right, are we going? Yes, so we're heading off now. Um, we think we know where we're going. Uh, we're going to look at the weather again as we're driving over. So catch us in the next vlog and see where we end up on the next part of our late summer adventures. So thanks very much for coming with us. Until next time, friends. Bye. Bye.